peak travel season and before taking to the skies, you might want to know about possible security changes for international flights. News 2's Margaret Chadbourne has more on the potential changes regarding electronic devices. Homeland Security is considering barring laptops from the cabins of international flights, meaning travelers would have to check anything bigger than a smartphone. My sense is that this is a very real threat. Recent reports show intelligence services suspect the Islamic State is working on a way to hide bombs in laptop batteries. It might be the case that they're developing means to circumvent a variety of security protocols that are in place right now. U.S. officials are working to prevent terrorists from hiding these explosives in large electronic devices. The new rules being considered would expand a current ban launched in March that affects about 50 flights per day from 10 cities mostly in the Middle East. Travelers from Europe to the United States would fall under the laptop restriction. Michael Smith, a terrorism analyst based in Charleston, says the reason for introducing a laptop ban is to protect travelers. What I would hope is that the assessment is that this is a very credible threat and that they are responding accordingly. Most affected by the rules, business passengers no longer allowed to work in the air. A lot of people travel for business sake or just entertainment or just movies they've downloaded, that would be very difficult. Always have my laptop with me. Um, it really never leaves my backpack. It's either out and I'm using it or it's in my backpack and it's on my back. So just having it like have to be checked would be kind of a nuisance, I think. More than 3,000 flights are expected to arrive in the U.S. from Europe each week this summer. New restrictions could increase delays. In Charleston, Margaret Chadbourne, News 2.